just over one week ago, we achieved planning permission to build a house at the end of our garden. Now, on the whole, that's really good news. But unfortunately, it means that my little den, where I'm sitting talking to you now, has to disappear. What a shame. Let me show you where we're going to build and what's going to be lost. Well, there's the house as it stands now. And up here, there'll be a single garage. And there, the new house. All those trees, all those shrubs will go. And through here, walking up here, I'm now walking through what will be the living room. And this is the spot that will be lost. My shed. My den. Away. Now let me take you inside and show you Lilliput Man. And then the construction started. Clearing the site, there's my old workshop gone. There's the end of my shed, the path knocked off. And we're progressing nicely now. Materials arriving, foundations dug, concrete goes in the foundations. Foundations being built, coming on nicely. Good set of bricklayers they were. And now we're getting ready for the insulation under the floor, so under floor heating. Now the concrete goes on the slab. The walls start to go up. Crane comes in for the roof. Roof. And the, right, the uh, trusses arrive, and they're lifted into position. It was a big crane. You can actually see it from the other side of the village. Roof taking shape. Now we're ready for the tiles, and the tiles going on. Coming on nicely there. Windows going in. There they are. Insulation inside. Stairs in, borrowed lighting tubes, floor plans going down for the heating, there's the control panel, there are the pipe work for the uh, underfloor heating, screening over the top, and then the tiling, which I did myself actually. There I am, working away. And I was quite pleased with uh, my efforts there. But now no, let's we're go inside. Come in. All right. There we go. So we're now in the hall. There's the stairs to upstairs. Little uh, downstairs toilet, and the doors into the living room. And there's the cloak cupboard there for guests and. Uh, my coats and toilet is uh, the WC and that's the visitor's WC or mine if I'm in a rush. Right now we'll go into the living room through the double swing doors here. Let's open one of them for now. And there's the living room, the telly, and I'm showing the photographs on it because um, that's the identical computer to yours. 
and then around here our bookshelves and then the bar billiard table and back down the other way patio windows onto the patio obviously and then the dining area is here with the patio doors again onto the onto the patio and then in here is the kitchen it's all open plan as you can see and there's the workshops and there's the large American style fridge freezer and down here we have the range with the uh, the wok burner so that's for walking with a microwave there and a double built-in oven there and the television on the wall so that we can watch television now and um, through here we have a small utility room that's a, it's a very small area with a um, dryer up there washing machine there and a sink which I'm afraid is a bit untidy at the moment and so back into the living into the dining area and we walk through to the downstairs bedroom which is uh, over here there we are that's the downstairs bedroom for the guests with uh, patio doors onto the patio and double bed there and then it's en suite little bathroom there with a nice uh, bath and a shower behind there so that's the, uh, the downstairs one the two end ones are uh, the, foot, the, the feet come up but this one over here a two-seater with a console in the middle with slots for bringing your glasses in and underneath here you can keep the remote controls. What I'm going to show you is upstairs. We'll go through the swing doors again and back into the hall. And then up the ricketties with its little half landing around the corner and up again. And that handrail there guards this hole which looks down on the front door and the hallway. And that's where I can pour oil onto unwanted guests. But this is the landing. You can see it's uh, quite large. Uh, with a, an airing cupboard. Or a linen cupboard. In there. Keep the iron and everything. So uh, that's there. And uh, there's a pile of ironing waiting to get done. Which I've sorted out. And then through into the main bedroom first. This is the main bedroom. You can see it's quite large. And it has uh, four built in wardrobes one there and one here where I keep all my, uh, well, some of my trousers and my jackets. And down the other end, there's another built in, two more built, built in wardrobes there. Um, these two single beds pushed together here and the windows look out onto the garden there's the garden down there I'll take you out the garden shortly so let's have a look in in this uh, wardrobe there's a little walk-in wardrobe with my bits and pieces and a fair few more shirts. Right now into the main bathroom's ensuite, uh, main bedroom's ensuite bathroom. There's the uh, the bath, the bidet, the WC, shower in the corner, and what I've done here, I made a seat at the back of the of the shower, so you can sit down and have a shower nicely. 
pan and then round a bit further the wash hand basin and the radiator there so back through the main bedroom into the landing area which is uh, more of a workspace now and this is my bedroom the one I'm using at the moment and there's my computer station uh, it's all a bit of a mess at the moment because I've had wires out and everything and there's my uh, my bed oh, and the phone's ringing I'll have to uh, answer that first that got dealt with a bit quick and there's one of my model boats Bohus Len and I look out of the window at the, my wall clock which is over there you see on the church that's my uh, my wall clock and then I have also two wardrobes in here that's what I'm using at the moment for uh, shirts and bits and pieces but more of a store cupboard really and in here uh, is my little ensuite it's uh, only very small uh, sink uh, toilet and a corner bath or what they call a mirror bath with a shower and that screen folds out like that when you want to have a shower you see and then you can just put it away and make room to get in the bath finally we have uh, a small store cupboard it used to be the whole of this bathroom used to be the store cupboard but uh, when I built the bathroom because I had to jam everything into one place which is why the entire room here is a bit of a mess so that's it really uh, that's my abode and there's a, another of my models see my model tug and those windows look out onto the garden as well now I'll take you out into the garden now we'll go downstairs Back down the stairs again. There's uh, the Dow that my father bought in about 1947-48 from a Dow maker who'd retired. Three of them. The district engineer bought one. My father bought another. And the third one is in, or was, in the Nairobi Museum. So we're going downstairs now. And once again through the swing doors over to the large patio windows which I shall unlock and open and that's the garden so there's my shed which is highly neglected now of course and the patio table and over here fish pond and there are the fish I wonder I think it's probably too cold for them to come up now but we'll give it a try I'll go and get some I'll go and get some food we'll just go into the greenhouse here I don't know what they call it greenhouse glass house and get some food out of there and just see if they'll come up I don't know they might do come on then Yeah, some of them are coming. Yeah. I thought it might be too cold for them. But no, they come up and have a little to eat. And then uh, there's the little deck. The hose pipe here is the watering system for when we were away. Uh, another little table there. And here's... Uh, the raised flower bed which was at one time te a temporary uh, uh, fish pond a uh, grapevine growing up there and here we have some bunches of grapes you see dangling down lovely so give one a try I think see what it's like mmm mmm Quite nice. Spit the pips out. 
there's a little covered seating area there. And we come round here. There's lots of weeds here I need to pull up. Good lord, look at it. And that's a, a willow arch with a little burnham growing up it, which I'm hoping will go right over the top. Well, that's it. And I'm going to do some weeding and some pruning. That's about it, really. Nice little acer tree there. And uh, a cantata there. It's a hazel. Um, it's all twisted branches, you can see. Little branches get twisted like that. It's nice, very pretty. It's called the cantata. And that's uh, looking back on the back of the house. The bedroom windows at the top there. Uh, the windows on the far right hand side of the garage, the back of the garage, then the door is to the utility room, then the patio windows that we walked out of, and the living room patio windows, and then the, the downstairs patio window or door. So that's it really.